Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna. How you guys doing? Um, do you remember I went to my sister's house on Sunday and I had some crafty fun? I was um, visiting with my sister and my mom and her family and I brought a whole big old bag of crafty goodness and things that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to bake some stuff while I was there and I did. So I want to show you what I was able to make so you might be able to find some of the things that are available at the Dollar Tree right now. Now, just to give you a heads up, I'm going to be starting a new series this week called What Would You Do? And it's like a prepper type of series. And I will be starting off, if you guys are interested, with more of a realistic financial type of situation. And then we work our way up to a overnight, oh my gosh, what I'm going to do, SHTF. So I hope that you guys come and join in. And I'm not too sure what the title would be. I don't know if, I'll, if I will say series WWUD. Um, I don't know yet. I got to figure that one out. Okay. But let me show you what I made. Mm, I love what I made. I'm going to show you both of them. Okay. Let me do it this way. Okay. So I made this gorgeous acorn mirror. And I made this. See that? This beautiful wreath. And you guys remember the bird. Yeah. So let me show you what I did. Let me show you what I did. Yeah. Okay, this is that black mirror that everybody was buying. Remember this mirror? Yeah, I bought three of them. And I was actually, you gotta, don't mind my children's little sticky hand, little fingerprints on them. They have already touched, touched it because they thought the acorns were so cool. Let me give you a close up of the acorns. Now, super easy. This was $4 to make. It took three bags of the loose acorns. I can't find any more of the acorns. I have to go online and see if I can order them. Hopefully I don't have to buy like $25 worth. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to keep on looking for them now. So what I did is I just used hot glue. I hot glued the bottom. I put the glue on the plastic of the mirror. Then I put that down and then I hot glued the little caps. I put a little hot glue there, put the next one next to it, hot glue on the bottom so that they would stick that way and it wouldn't look so messy in between. But it turned out to be absolutely, it's a beautiful look. So if you put this on the wall, Look how gorgeous that looks. I know you're looking at my sink. Look how beautiful that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just a beautiful piece. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, do you see? You see my cell phone, yay! See, it's just a beautiful piece. Absolutely gorgeous. And um, super easy to do. It just took a few minutes just to knock this out. Seriously. It is absolutely beautiful and it's great for the fall and actually year round if you're into that kind of decor like I am. Now this piece, the frame, this is what it looks like from behind. This is a Dollar Tree um, frame, wire frame. What I did was I had a muslin material, which I folded in half, cut into long strips. And then I knotted them, I knotted them right here. I made a knot. So one strip goes out like this and the other end sticks out. So it's like, like this. So it just sticks out like that. Um, so it looked really pretty even without all this additional stuff, but I wanted to use my blessed bird that I picked up. So I, I put it with the frame and it was too bulky. So I took it off the frame. I cut it. It was very hard trying to cut this thing off that frame, but I cut it off the frame. Then I was like, oh, it needs something. It needs to have like a finished look. It's just, it's not going to work. So then I had this, um, ribbon. I'm going to bring it in closer that I was able to hot glue everything on. I used hot glue on this entire two projects. That's all I used was hot glue. So I hot glued this on and you can see the detail of the ribbon is absolutely beautiful. And um, then this is of course from the Dollar Tree. I just hauled it. Then I hot glued the four corners onto the wreath. And then this beautiful piece right here is just one um, sprig, whatever you want to call it, pick. Uh, from Michaels that I bought two years ago. Now the reason why I picked this besides it having all this beautiful autumny color and it has some bling to it because I'm into bling. I love anything that glitters. Look at the beautiful play of color. Look at that. And it just reminds me out of the outdoors and it has the orange and the golds and the browns. So beautiful. So I was really happy with both my projects here. Super happy with them, as you can tell. And um, I'm trying to show them to you. And the light's blinding you. There you go. Yay! Got my projects done, baby. Yeah! And I want to make some more. 
So I was really happy with, with the whole thing. And the process was really quick. I think we sat there between talking, eating, hanging out. I think we were probably crafting for about an hour and a half. And, you know, some of that time we were just, you know, having a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, maybe you can create something similar or add something more to your taste for your home. And remember, you could do it on a budget and do it really easy. So thanks a lot for coming by. And I hope you come back for my What Would You Do series. And you're enjoying my plus size daily looks and one year jewelry challenge that I'm doing. I'm going to be adding some additional things to my channel. Yes, I still am. I'm not done. I'm going to be adding some different different things to my channel besides hauls and things like that. I want to give you more real life content, things that you'll be able to use in the real world. So I want to add cooking and a whole bunch of other little things. So hold on tight. I'm not done. Bye, guys.